Outrage this morning from a Connecticut man who tragically lost his family in a cold-blooded home invasion three years ago. The court has turned its attention to the rights of the accused killer, and the trial is now on hold indefinitely. We get more now from Andrea Canning. Dr. William Pettit watched his wife and two daughters brutally murdered, but now, finally, on the verge of justice, the trial has come to a standstill, ironically over how their alleged killer is being treated. Somehow it was okay for the uh, defendants to bind us and beat us and tape, uh, rip, rape us and torture us and set the place on fire, but you uh, can't, be, can't be held in a, in a cell with the lights on. One of the defendants, Stephen Hayes, was moved to an isolation cell after an apparent suicide attempt. Prison officials say for his own safety. But defense attorneys call his new conditions inhumane. The lights are on 24 hours a day and he has to eat with his hands. A judge has ordered a hearing into the matter. It's a little difficult to process in your in your brain that somehow that there's some comparison to what both of these guys have done to what the state may be doing. But experts say doing it by the book now will only help ensure the verdict will hold in the long run. If this case uh, can be challenged later on on appeal because Hayes was treated in an inhumane fashion, then the victim's rights aren't really being protected because it just delays this process. But the sole survivor of the vicious attack says he's left feeling, quote, totally frustrated, accusing the defense of doing everything they can to delay. For Good Morning America, Andrea Canning, ABC News.